The most important part of a train or bus line is its reliability and frequency. But a single transit line is only as good as its connectivity. That's what makes a handful of lines into a true transit network. Let's take a closer look at station connectivity using Chicago as our foil. Big old regional stations were the feather in the cap of transit companies in the 20th century. And Chicago Union Station exemplifies this. Generally built in a classical revival style in an epic proportions to woo and wow patrons. Today in Union Station, there is as much connectivity to the transit network as a whole as you can imagine. Starting with trains, the station's bread and butter. Amtrak runs over a dozen named services from here, with notable services like the California Zephyr and the Lakeshore Limited, which go from Emeryville, California and New York City respectively. There is a pretty extensive waiting area in this beautiful old station building, as well as newer airport style seating in the newer part of the terminal. There is the Metropolitan Lounge, which Amtrak makes available to its frequent riders and upgraded ticket holders. A fairly unique amenity, as there is less than a dozen Amtrak lounges. There are also six more local commuter train services that are provided by Metra, with the BNSF, operated by the aforementioned freight carrier on behalf of Metra, having the highest ridership. These are all diesel services, unfortunately, but the electrification of railways is a conversation for another video. Switching to bus, Union Station is quite literally surrounded by bus services, to fill in the unserved gaps in the train network. Frequent local buses show up in front of the station on a double bus priority lane. It is nice, when the bus is ready to leave, it can just go around any parked buses that are in its way. Keeping a reliable schedule and clearing the platform for other buses. On the opposite side, there is a newer covered bus station called the Union Transit Center Terminal, which provides a comfortable place to wait and more importantly connects to the train station underground so passengers never need to walk into traffic or Chicago's bitter winter conditions. Lastly, one of the most overlooked transit connections is walking and biking. Nice wide sidewalks all around with some goodies like signals for a pedestrian across, not at intersections. Bi-directional bike lanes, which should be converted to protected bike lanes, also flank the station. All of these things work together to move people around the city and around the region, each connection making the station more useful. Bike to bus, to train, to foot, putting large portions of the neighborhood, city, state, and country available to people. Right up the road from Union Station is the Ogilvy Transportation Center, a massive commuter train terminal that three metro services run out of. Now, while it has similar bike infrastructure and bus service as Union Station, it also has a connection to Chicago's famous elevated metro, providing many local connections by rail. With the metro link to the loop, you can get almost anywhere in Chicago with just one transfer. What you can see from walking around the station is its amenities, like the food court. The station portal and the waiting area is well lit and is connected to the large office complex. Making the best use of area on top of transit while giving riders a good experience. 
There is also an interesting feature here in the rail yard area. Listen. It's an accessibility feature that guides those who are differently able as it comes to sight, reminding us that accessibility is an important feature for stations. Also, while I wasn't going to record it, the bathrooms are quite nice. Clean public bathrooms make a station more usable and accessible. Now I could spend all day with the various train stations in this area, but it brings up what is an issue. Many rail services from both of these stations are disconnected, which makes regional transit between train lines difficult. How to solve this and issues like this will be a topic for a future video, so please be sure to subscribe. Bus stations are generally treated as the redheaded stepchild of the network. But here in Chicago, there are some well-appointed stations. We can see a high platform covered station, which serves not only to be a comfortable place to sit, but also makes boarding fast and fully accessible without any moving ramps, which take time to deploy and can mechanically fail. I also managed to capture a timed transfer here where people could get off one bus and hop to the other for express to local service. This is a benefit of having a longer bus platform. We also have a bike lane, which is protected by the bus terminal rather than sticking cyclists into traffic with buses. Note it is a single direction bike lane, which works well for pedestrian crossings going to and from the bus station where pedestrians only need to be aware of traffic coming from one direction. Here in Chicago, how could we not talk about an L station? Just looking at the centuries old elevated metro, you'd think that there may be little thought to accessibility or connectivity with their stations. And while that may be true for some stations, this one has a newer station building which allows for accessible indoor connections between the underground blue line and the above ground loop lines. Having the fare gates in the newer part of the station also allows for better throughput into the station. also say that I love the vibes of standing on top of an elevated wooden deck with only trains and buildings in sight. It's quite peaceful up here without any cars around. Retrofitting better connections and making incremental improvements seems to be the name of the game for the L in Chicago. What we can take away from Chicago is how we should think about transit connections. How existing infrastructure can better be utilized by linking it with other modes of transit and improving connections. And how we can better serve the needs of transit users outside of just those who ride the bus and train. I'd like to thank those who supported me on Kofi and subscribe. The support really means a lot to me. And with that, goodbye for now.